Hi, and welcome to another episode. In today's episode, I'll be discussing the maintenance of the inkjet printers on an example of uh, an Epson ET3750 that had died on me. But this will be applicable to most of the printers if you're willing to disassemble them. For the cases that I'll be referring to is the print head cleaning specifically because obviously there are several things you can do that can help but unfortunately there is quite a bit of information that actually suggests performance certain actions that will absolutely destroy your print head and render the printer useless. You can have a cartridge-less system, more or less like it is in this type of printer, or you could have a system with cartridges. But regardless of which type of system are you using, the one thing for sure is if you've got some sort of cartridge-less system, you will have dampers instead of the cartridges. This serves as a reservoir, reservoir uh, that collects uh, some amount of ink and it regulates the pressure, uh, the ink with the pressure that needs to go into the print head because you can't just pour it into the print head, that wouldn't work. Now, the one thing that you don't have to do for sure is do not pour any cleaning liquid into the dampers themselves. If the damper is faulty, uh, it is possible that the ink has dried in the damper but pouring a cleaning solution into the damper is never a good idea because the problem is you won't be able to get it out as in you need to replace it with inks so you will need to do a huge amount of work and cleaning the, the flushing the whole system in order to regain the ability to use the inks and as you know they do not come free so what it is that you have to do in order to get your print head back to uh, the work in order. You will need some sort of cleaning solution as well as you will need the syringe and you will need a piece of aquarium tubing if you will, but any tube will do that forms a tight, um, that fits the syringe as well as the print head. So you will want to avoid anything that says it has some alcohol in it that can ruin the printhead. Now, you will most definitely have to remove the printhead because this is how you know your printhead's good. So let me do that and we'll proceed. Upon removing the dampers, you will most probably find that the dampers were sitting directly on top of the printhead itself. And you will see the exposed channels for as many colors as you've got. Now, what we have to do is we have to extract the printhead itself fully in order to be able to evaluate its condition and also to perform the cleaning. Now that you've got your printhead out, all that's left to do is to combine the tube with the syringe, get some cleaning solution and run it through a channel that is currently being plugged. Now, which type of cleaning solution to use? Choose the one that at least seems more uh, less, sorry, harmless. Um, the exact solution will depend on what type of printhead do you have. For me, for example, being Epson, being piezoelectric printheads, I'm using the type, it does say universal, but I did check the, uh, the, the supplier uh, is showing the ingredients where I purchased them and they did match uh, what to be used on this. Now, what are you looking at when you're doing this? And by the way, do not apply too much pressure because the print head internally will look similar to the dampers. As you can see on one side of the damper, there is a membrane. And obviously if this, due to coming too much pressure from this side, if this bursts open, and there is two cham chambers together, your colors will mix and that will render the print head useless. And I've already managed to make a mess on the desk. That is very nice. So, what are you looking at in order to see whether your print head is damaged or not or being cleaned? When applying pressure, you must see that from the underneath, 
the channel that's being used uh, at the time is dispensing a nice even line. Once you've checked that all of the channels are running smoothly with no issues, that's how you know that your pinhead is good and obviously now it, that has, it has been cleaned, you can put it all back together and try to run a fill-up cycle or if that's not an option, try running uh, um, a clean, a deep clean or something like that. It will use some ink to fill up the, uh, the printhead back from the um the cleaning solution that you've just put in there but after that procedure has been performed if you haven't had any further damage to your pen head or you haven't uh, made the situation worse by touching the underneath of the pen head for example then it should work just fine this is a fairly simple procedure to do but it might save you uh, the other option which is buying a new print head or the printer all together hopefully you've enjoyed the episode so thanks for watching and i'll see you next episode